Hello guys, I'm Sammy from Acrobat.net. Today with a tutorial on how to make your own farming bot for Android and iOS mobile devices. You know, those games that you think to yourself, wow, I have to click a lot of stuff and farm a lot of stuff, so why can't I do that automatically? Well, you can. What do you need? One, you need a computer. Check. Might also work with a Macintosh. Check. Actually does work with Macintosh. You need an emulator. Check. They exist for Macintosh. Check. Anyways. And the last thing you will need is you will need a macro recorder and editor. Now you might ask yourself, what is a macro recorder and editor? Well, it's very simple. You record your mouse movements and your keyboard stuffs and so on, and then you replay them. Very easy, very easy. Basically, it records what you do and replays it. Okay? Now the awesome thing about this is that today, with most mobile games having a static design, as you can see, this button will always be at this same place at the main menu, right? That's what I mean by static buttons. Most games these days have static interfaces, which makes it very easy to bot, especially mobile games. Not so much computer games and so on, but mobile games, they do that all the time. Like, for example, this light side battles here in Galaxy of Heroes. This will always be at this relative position right here in the main menu when I'm in the main menu. Then the back button will always be here and the first mission will always be exactly at this location if I scroll to the left. So this can be exploited to create your own bots using a macro editor. Now you might ask yourself, how do I get a macro editor that records my stuff and plays it back? Well, there are literally thousands of them Take your pick if you want to use the one I'm using, which in my opinion is the best and I have tried a whole lot of them because I've been botting games since the Flash days when, you know, when the only mobile games we had were on Flash and in a browser, basically. You know, they were pretty much the same. They also had energy and, and currencies and so on. I've bought it those uh, back when I was like, I don't know, 16 or something. It was, those were the good days and I was at the top of the leaderboards and everything. Anyways. So there's a link in the description if you want to get this one. This one is definitely the best because it allows you to create if statements, um, which most of them don't allow you to do. If statements means you can actually program the bot, okay? For example, if, um, there, there are a lot of if statements. If a pixel is a certain color, right? Most of the recorders don't allow you to do that. That's very advanced. Like, for example, if this pixel here is red, that means I have mail, right? So if this pixel is red, click here. Or if this pixel is red, collect my achievements, right? You can do stuff like that with this bot. It's pretty advanced. It's going to take some time, but it's possible. Anyways, links in the description. Get any kind of um, macro editor that you can get your hands on. All it has to be able to do is edit macros and create macros. Editing is very important. Anyways, so once you have that, you start recording. And I'm just going to make a very simple example here, right? I'm just going to record my stuff. Um, use your hotkeys if you can. And for example, I'm going to go into my characters and back. I'm going to go to battles and back. I'm going to go into my achievements and back, right? And this is a loop, right? A loop means you start at one point and you return to the exact same point performing actions. And now I can basically replay this infinitely by entering zero here, because that's how it works with this one. Or you can replay it only for a thousand times, so you can make it stop after a while as well. And you can edit delays, you can make it faster, slower, and so on. So as you can see, I'm clapping my hands right now, and the bot is doing everything for me, right? It just, it just goes on um, completing this loop that I've created. And yeah, that's what it's going to do forever, basically, until I stop it, which I'm going to do right now. Anyways, <laughs> and uh, excuse the hand clapping, but it's the only way I can show you guys that I'm not actually, you know, clicking my mouse or whatever. So yeah, anyways. So how do you create an actual bot um, that doesn't just go into menus? Well, that's a little bit more complicated, obviously, because what's going to happen is actions are not always going to take the same time so it's going to desynchronize so you need to create a bot that works under all circumstances it's pretty complicated but i'm just going to show you right i'm just going to go and do a mission i'm going to make this bot do a mission so i'm going to just record with my hotkeys actually i need to clear this whole thing 
first because we don't need it anymore. All right, I just leveled up my characters a little bit so this goes a little bit faster for you guys and I don't bore you. So how do you create the bot? The bot, okay? Now, the way you do it is pretty easy. You go into your Mac recorder, you start recording, basically. And I'm gonna try and start in this screen and come back to this screen. That's gonna be our loop. So I'm clicking the mission I wanna farm. I click battle and battle again. And now, essentially, I can click autoplay because this is a mobile game and a lot of mobile games do have autoplay buttons, which makes botting so much easier. Else I would have to click um, fighting buttons as you can see actually I'm not gonna click this again at the bottom left corner at bottom right corner of the screen which would not make it a, mu a much more complicated but it's nice that there's an autoplay feature in there anyways um, there's also like eventualities that you will eventually have to take care of like level ups for example might uh, make different prompts than just playing out winning a mission for example in this game that's the case so that's why we have an editor that allows us to edit because we need to be able to insert clicks to certain buttons and so on. Anyway, so here's a continue button. If I were to level up, there would be another button right here. Anyways, our loop is complete. I'm gonna stop the script. Here's our script. And this is a working script. Now I can just demonstrate this to you guys. It's very simple, obviously. You could go a lot more complex with if statements and so on, but we have limited time here, obviously. You don't want to be watching this video forever. I'm just going to go for play X times. I'm going to make an infinite loop here. And we're just going to play it. And I'm just going to clap my hands. Clap my hands in the air. Like, I don't care. <laughs> and as you can see, it starts the mission. And I'm still clapping my hands. And I'm still clapping my hands. And it goes for autoplay. And yeah. <clears throat> Anyways. Now it's an autoplay, so I don't necessarily have to clap my hands anymore. I'm actually glad. And yeah, as I've said, uh, there are eventualities like level ups or special rewards or special encounter encounters that might require that might stop your bot at first, right? When you're first uh, cr creating that script, but you have to know that recording your clicks and your your button press and so on, that's just the basic stages of the bot creation process. All right. Later on, you will want to optimize that. That means you will want to optimize delays. You will want to cut out. Um, idle time from the bot, which makes it a lot more effective, uh, which basically means all that time during the battle when I wasn't doing anything with my with my bot with my uh, mouse. I'm actually, basically I'm still clapping anyways. <laughs> Here's my hands clapping. Um, anyways, um, you want to get rid of that idle time. For example, here when I'm battling, I could cut out that idle time from the bot script, and it would have more active time, and that would make the bot more effective over the long run because it's going to desynchronize because it's not always going to take the exact same time to kill people for example and once it desynchronizes it's just going to be a bunch of idle time where the bot's doing nothing although that's not really a big thing because most games uh, nowadays have some kind of energy anyways that essentially you can only farm so much per day right that's what a lot of games do to serve uh, say, uh, server, uh, safe server resources so yeah but that's really for you to learn. It's a learning process, these kinds of things. Um, it's not always going to be working the same way. Actually, still clapping. And see, now the bot's kind of desynchronized. Um, now it's starting the mission when it should click the continue button. So now there's going to be idle time. Right? I'm still clapping and the bot's still moving. This is the, ex the example of what I was speaking before. Right? It's going to desynchronize and then there's going to be downtime. Um, now it's waiting for the battle to finish, right? Um, although it is already finished, but that, yeah, that's a desynchronization. And yeah, it's a it's a learning process creating these kinds of scripts. I have done it, I don't know, I started doing it a bunch of years ago, like maybe six or, I don't even know, five, six years ago when I was young and dumb and I was botting Flash games uh, because Flash games are basically, you know, the, the old kind of, method of doing mobile gaming and I'm still clapping and now it's finally um, clicking the continue button anyway so now the script would start over again obviously uh, but I don't want to we have uh, gone through four loops I think and it works perfectly as you can see you can basically farm missions endlessly like this on your Android or iOS device 
Um, if you're looking for emulators, if you're looking for the macro recorder that I recommend, then you are free to visit the links down in the description of the video. I hope this helps. I might do a more advanced tutorial on this later, but for now, my voice is spent. Thanks to you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon on Hackabot.net. Goodbye.